<laughs> Sorry. Sunda rules his so-called empire, the former Roman province of Iboracum, with immortal ghost legionaries. He sacrifices his people to defend the war against the northern hordes, and he wants to expand his territory. You have to find the Roman noblemen who know his weaknesses. Following the advice of the Empress Navia, you've reached one of the biggest peninsulas on the western shores. The view is nearly perfect from the ridge. You can even catch glimpses of the sun shining on the sea from there. The weather is clear, so you can see the whole peninsula. There is a deep forest to your right, reaching down to the seashore. Hills to your left, and a ravine right in front of you. At the other end of the crescent-shaped ridge, a ruined fort endures the wrath of the gales. Okay, I think I will look for clues because that speeds things up. The day passes uneventfully until dusk. Only one of the scouts returns from the ravine, but he didn't find any trace of the rebels. The other scout, however, hasn't come back at all. So you break camp and set off to look for them. You divide your army into smaller groups and advance through the hills. This is an ideal place for an ambush, so you send your scouts to the hilltops. Soon they report back about a dozen dead legionaries and a few slaughtered Formorians. Shortly after the discovery of the dead legionaries, a of marauding Formorians attacks you. You successfully eliminate them without too many casualties, but you get injured in the fight. It is already getting dark by the time you leave the hills, so you have to find a place where you can set up your camp for the night. Staring at the flames of the campfire, you think about your choices. Suddenly you realize you may be able to find the rebels if you look for their campfires from higher ground. You concentrate on the flames, and soon you feel the presence of many campfires from various parts of the woods. There are too many, so they can't all belong to the tiny village of the druids. You grab a torch, order a few soldiers to come with you, then go to find the fires. After a long journey in the night forest, you find the camp of the rebels. Hostile guards point their weapons at you and escort you to their leader. He is a proud-looking Roman who introduces himself as Tullius Caracalla and asks you what brought you here. Okay, we finally found the Caracallas. When you mention the name <coughs> of the Empress, Tullius Caracalla waves the soldiers away, then escorts you to his tent. After you clarify that your warriors are not mercenaries, he asks you what do you intend to do with Ibaracum after the defeat of the Emperor. The nobleman ponders the possibilities for a long time. He might even think about refusing to help you in the name of the Roman nobles and the Senate. Finally, he asks you why you were searching for the camp. Okay, I heard that you can weaken the magic of Hadrian's wall. First, we have to seize Ibarakum. If the city is ours, we can prevent the Emperor summoning the Colossi to the wall. Or we can use these arcane constructs for our own purposes. So you are William Pendragon's voiceover now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> okay, sorry, I don't have a main oh, no, voice, but... <laughs> it's, it's, I think. <laughs> okay, so I am really, really curious. <laughs> And please tell me, Caracalla, how could I close the otherworldly gates? 
Okay, I'm I, I'm a bad video player. <laughs> really, I'm so busy in fighting crystals that they Actually, use to construct he's a bad guy, the seals in my game, so. <laughs> yeah. So where are those gates? That's a good question. The first gate is in the marshes to the west. The second one is in an old monastery where Formorians dwell. And the third is in the vicinity of the wall and opens in the Caracalla Manor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if I need you, I will send an envoy. Bye bye to your camp. Yeah, After sorry. the negotiations <laughs> are over, you return to your army waiting for you in the ravine. Then you leave the peninsula. Oh, our solving hero is injured. Because he's so heroic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we also got experience points. So. But injured only for one turn. Yeah, that, that's it here. Um, so, we also got a new hero from, uh, from Tullius Caracalla. Let's see what we got here. Who? So, not what? Oh, sorry, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, who we got here? Uh, that's Numerius Andronicus. A Roman champion or warlord or sage? Champion. Champion. He's a Roman champion. So let's see his skills. He has two skill points that we will be able to spend in the winter season. Yeah. And he's vigorous and he has cleave at level one, sharpened blades. I love cleave spell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, cleave is good. Um, the hero attacks three op opponents at once, and on level two he attacks five, and on level, level three he attacks seven. It's very effective. Yes, it's really good. So he also has level two arcane swiftness and level two curse of shadows. Yeah, I think that's that's a good hero. It was so a good hero. <laughs> <laughs> So we have unlocked new quests. Yeah. And you can see we them still, on the minimum. We still owe Morgana a fight, I think. Yeah. And you can see the quests, the new quests on the minimap. It's important because our campaign map is huge now. As you can see. So yes, my king. let's see this battle. Yes. With Morgana. Against the on series. Yeah. It's an interesting thing, yeah, because she's she's harsh, she, yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So these are tyrant she units. She doesn't like the unseemly. Yeah, they also have archers, one hero, and a winter breed look cool. So who's our enemy, Lord? Lord Grimshard. Grimshard. Yes. So let's start the battle. So this battle will have a very interesting weather because it will be a storm. Yeah. How do you not know a that? Storm. How do you know that? <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't. Know. <laughs> okay. So it started. So let's see it. I like the locations on this battlefield. I think that they look cool. These silly locations. Yeah, they grant you the crystal yeah. crystal shard spell. This silly and unsealy so these she groups have a very good style in <laughs> in the buildings, in the constructions. <laughs> We also have dragon bones. Oh, and of course we have dragons in the game as well. Not in this battle, but later. A little yeah. bit later, you will be fighting against dragons and you will also have dragons in your army. Yeah. If you want. On your own side. Yes. So, battle starting now.
So let's see those unseal units. I think they look really cool. I think so. Yeah. Oh, the winter breed. Yeah. They look so terrifying. And they look so tyrant. Yeah. You must like them. I love them. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so where is their hero or their archers? Their hero is hiding. Oh. Yeah. So these are the unseelie warriors. Seal units are always very strong. They were strong in the first game as well. Yeah. But you can see that um, only 20 of them are in one, in one unit. unit. Yeah. So unfortunately, right now we don't have a sunshine spell with our heroes, but it's possible. So there are some Changing heroes. The weather. Yes. There are some heroes who have that skill, actually. So you can also change the weather. Mm -hmm. I think one of our heroes has the storm spell, Storm of Avalon. But yeah. right now it doesn't <laughs> do too much because it's <laughs> already a storm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, the weather always affects uh, the units. So the sight range is reduced by 50%. Archers cannot shoot in storm. Cavalry and heavy infantry units move slower and so on and so on. So it has several negative modifiers. And in the last battle we also had the Fomorian weather. And Fomorian weather is beneficial for the Fomorians, but of course it causes disadvantages to you because you are not Fomorian, of course. So let's march against the enemy and take them down. Okay. <laughs> so first we will capture the locations because that location that Linda is capturing right now, it grants you the crystal shard spell. Yeah. And it looks cool. Yes. <laughs> we already have it, actually. But I think it has a normal penetration level. I would like to show you guys Morgana because I think that she's our most special hero. Not only because she's a woman, but <laughs> but <laughs> her personality is very very interesting. Yeah, Linda's favorite hero is Morgana Le Fay from the very beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So now I can use this spell, but only for reducing the enemy's magic shield, because you can see that it's... Uh, Above normal. Yeah, and it has a normal spell penetration. So it will only lower the enemy shield. Yeah. You can see, spell absorbed and shield is now below normal. So now we can use normal level spells against the enemy. And they will do damage. Of course, not just the heroes have skills, the units also have skills. So if you switch back to the cavalry units, yeah. yeah, so they have a haste and they also have a passive skill that's to the left uh, and that is mobility. <coughs> and the heavy cavalry had some different skills as well. Yeah, they are armored. So shooting the poisoning. Pens. It's my favorite unit skill. Yeah, it's very effective. It's very good. and it's passive, so you don't have to wait till it recharges itself yeah. because it's always it's always effective. So, please do something, something bad. So this is a spell that has a costing time, so you can see Sorry. that... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm lost. So, four, three, two, one, and... Hit! Yeah. You got it. And it's one of my favorite. It's a special spell only for Morgana. And it also has cost time. Yeah. 
three, two, one, go. I love Morgana and her black magic. <laughs> so we have the crystal shard spell again. That we can use. Wow. And we also have a Venom's Curse, but that has a low spell penetration, so we can use that. Venom's Curse with Morgana. Yeah. We can use that to lower the enemy shield further. But it has a costing time. So actually, a Venomous Curse, if it gets through the shield, is really effective. So it can wipe out one Archer unit completely in the beginning of the games, in the, in the early stages. So, arriving the water again. Mm -hmm. As you can see, magic is a very important part of this fantasy game. And we have tons of fantasy monsters, very a huge variety of fantasy monsters. And we also have unit tiers, and the units look different on different tiers as they as they level up. So there's a huge variety of units in this game, and I think that I really like it. I think it's cool. So, we have the Winds of the North spell. It's a territorial spell that has an effect around the hero when he's fighting. And it freezes the enemies yeah. for a couple of seconds. So the enemy is destroying our shield in the meantime. Can we do something against it? Do we have such a skill? Or not with no, not but with we the have a location. Oh cool. So we have captured it. Yeah. Which gives us one magic shield for every 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. And it's So, are we winning the battle? Um, what do you think? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> On normal level. Yeah, you're the general, you have to know. <laughs> so, are we winning the battle? We are. Okay. <laughs> I believe you. We are. Yeah, definitely we are winning it. So, on normal difficulty level, it's, it's not a huge deal, but try it a nightmare and you will be surprised. Yeah, exactly. Oh, poor guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Lord Grimshot has been killed. Yeah, the enemy hero yes. is down. Finally. <laughs> I don't like this Lord Grimshot guy. Why? I don't it's know. I just, spells. I just don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually you should like him. Because he's Tyrant. Okay, but Tyrant rulers, you know, in yeah, they history, hate each other. <laughs> yeah, in history, Tyrant rulers used to fight against each other. Uh, okay, tell if me. If you are Tyrant, you want to, you want to defeat yeah, everybody. Then, okay, okay, I believe you, but tell me what this game has to do with history. Okay, but uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, in so fantasy world, I'm tired. <laughs> so don't be surprised, it's not a historical game, but I don't think that I have to explain there. All right, Why? Okay. It's not? So you, th you, th you tell me that dragons didn't exist? Come <gasps> oh. on, it's true. I am sorry, Linda. And Santa? <gasps> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sad that I will have to you tell you the truth. You ruined my bird. <laughs> okay, actually, I think that dragons exist. I'm totally convinced. 
Okay. Just because I want them to exist. Yeah. I thought it's a historical movie. <laughs> now I'm so disappointed. Mm. I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So actually the first game had a little bit more to do with the Arthurian lore, uh, what people actually know about, but this sequel is a lot more about uh, putting the uh, Celtic mythology and the Arthurian lore, lore and many many more legends together in one game and we also added our own taste it we we added new story elements to it so it's a mix of many many legends and our imagination here in the neo studio so that's a huge mess yeah that is so let's cast some spells Oh, lightning bolt. I want a lightning bolt. Sorry, it's my battle. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's our battle. Okay, I'm the narrator. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> we also have crystal shards. Just so you know. Okay. Oh, poor, poor, poor guys, ladies. Oh, Whatever I they love were. It. Yeah. And let's destroy their shield a little bit further with a venomous curse. Or with that. Oops. Just because. Yeah, friendly fire is part of the game. Yeah, for example, now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Linda, you're not a too good general. <laughs> sending, no, not now. <laughs> sending your men to die when it's not even necessary. I don't care about that. Oh yeah, you're a tyrant, you're right. Yeah. Okay, now I really feel sorry for those poor guys. Because you are righteous. Yeah, I am. Sorry. Are you gonna kill me? Um... No. <laughs> sorry, but... <laughs> You are... you are not important. <laughs> oh, thank you! That's very kind of you, Linda. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so you're heading for greater enemies than me? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Now a lightning bolt would be really, really spectacular, but <laughs> yeah, it would do damage to our troops as well. Yeah. Okay, but it's almost. Yeah, those poor guys didn't have a chance. Yeah, they didn't. <coughs> so, congrats to the general, Linda Bozaradi. <laughs> Thank you, General yeah, Linda she, she was winning the battle, so... Um, yeah. Do you know actually what's your favorite part of the game? Mm, it's of so course difficult. everything, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm, I don't know. I love forging artifacts. I love it. It's yeah, a me new too. thing and I, you know, I can spend one hour with it that I just... Try to forge. Yeah, I always want to get the best combo out yeah, of yeah, three yeah, yeah. components that I have to use yeah. for the forge. So I always test it. Mm. Do you have a favorite voiceover? Oh, I think that Morgana has a, but not just because she's Morgana, but she has a very good voice. Yeah, I my favorite voiceover in the game is uh, the voice of Septimus Sulla, because Septimus yeah. yes, yes. Um, you should definitely see why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we're it's not true. right there in the campaign, but I think it's worth worth look. Maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
But those of you who played the yes, prologue might yeah, have a hint why I say that. Yeah. So, back to the campaign map. And it was autumn. Winter is coming. So, winter is coming. I know this sentence might sound <laughs> a bit familiar to you. <laughs> yeah. But not from kickoff. <laughs> okay, so we are attacked. Just so you see, we can also choose the auto battle. So we have fought two battles already, so we will use this right now. Oh, they are strong. Oh, they are strong. And yes, we had casualties in the last battle. Yeah. Severe damages. Okay. We have lost <laughs> one unit. Not good. But it is okay. So, leveling up. Winter is the season for leveling up your heroes and units and uh, many other things but let's get it step by step so first when a hero is leveling up you can choose a, a bonus after each level on the general page for example you can increase his hit points spell power or uh, grant him another skill points skill that he can spend on sp that he can spend on skills yeah. okay so one extra skill point we can also grant them fiefdoms that would grant them different benefits yeah. Okay, let's see the hero skills. Skills, 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 skills. Okay. skills, skills. <laughs> okay, so we have five skill points to spend. Well, let's mm -hmm. do it. So mm -hmm. increase the fireball to level three now. It has four levels. I think that's the most that a spell can have. But not every spell has uh, four levels. Some of them have three or two or just one. Most of them have uh, three. Most of them yeah. have three, yes. So we also have a mana rush. And that grants extra mana for the hero. That is very useful. Yeah. Because sometimes we're running out of mana. But you can also equip several artifacts that will um, increase your mana points after... Uh, after a while, I mean, it uh, can depend on time or uh, the number of enemies you have killed, and so on. And these are the artifacts. There are several artifact sets that will grant you really powerful benefits. For example, I forged this ring. Yeah. yeah. And uh, some artifacts can be improved. So when you get them, uh, they are a little bit not that powerful, but uh, they have some conditions and if you meet them, then they will unlock new and new bonuses. For example this one. Yeah, for example this one. So for example for this you will have to win 10 battles uh, to get 6 extra magic shield for your army. And uh, we have already won 6 battles, so you will have to wear that artifact. So if it's in the inventory, then it doesn't count. Yeah. But of course, if you put it down to the inventory and then equip it back, you won't lose that six won battles. Uh, or if you exchange between the heroes. Yes, so it keeps it. Um, but it has, has to be equipped to count those winnings. Yeah. And these are the units. So they get ability points and after every five level, they can choose a new skill. But right now we don't have a unit that is right at the fifth level. No, or ten. We don't. But I chose this <coughs> skill, this shield disruption, because I think it's very cool. Yeah, it decreases the enemy's magic shield, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. good. And you just have to fight. <laughs> yes, exactly. With the unit. And the other army increased levels as well. Oh, Morgana doesn't yeah. have any fiefdoms. Morgana. Yeah, because she is new, you know? Oh, yeah. This game. Yeah, exactly. So you get Morgan on a Fae at the end of the second chapter. Yeah. So she's quite new. And actually, it says she's a weak commander. What does it mean that she has that she's a weak commander? Aha! Uh -huh. So the castle locations grant last bonus. Yeah. And we can so. check here the the provinces that what kind of locations they have. Yes, and as it's winter now, we can also build new structures. Yeah. So let's see how we can do that. 
So, for example, this is a lair location where you will be able to get beasts for your army. But uh, you will have to know that hiring beasts and morality creatures will require leadership to equip to your army. So that is why you are gathering leadership points. <laughs> Oh, we don't have the necessary research options yet for that because we also have a research tree. And uh, after villages, towns, strongholds and in diplomacy, uh, you will get lower points. And as it goes higher and higher, it will unlock more and more available researches for you that you can choose to research for gold by spending gold. So right now we have 30 lore points and we have already researched everything that we could. So we will have to gather more lore points. So we will have to uh, use diplomacy to increase that or capture new territory, new provinces that have villages and town locations or even a stronghold. Military advancement is good. Uh, these are the unit tiers. So as you are advancing in the campaign, you will unlock new unit tiers. That means it's a huge jump in the statistics. So your units will get a lot more powerful. So if we compare um, the statistics, for example, the light infantry statistics or the heavy infantry statistics. Uh, so this is tier 3 Iron Guard veterans. Yeah, and you can see that on t tier 2 they were much weaker. Yes, and in tier 1 it doesn't even worth mentioning <laughs> right now, but of course and I am the tyrant. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so we also have a chronicle where you can uh, read about the events, uh, read about the characters that you meet in the game and uh, read about the legends. Legends! I love the legends because, for example, the legend of Sir <coughs> Brandon explains you a lot about how you can solve the Merlin's Legacy quest. I think, yeah, uh, where you get the forge, lo the first forge location. So, of course, there are hints in the quest as well. So you can uh, solve that puzzle just based on the quest text as well. But if you don't want to bother that much, then you can get the answer from the Chronicle. Of course, it's hidden, so you will have to read carefully to find the correct answer. But you have more options to choose from. And yeah, that's but always it's interesting good. to solve it without this help, I think. Yeah. It's my opinion. <laughs> yeah, mine it's too. The other. <laughs> some people prefer different <laughs> things, okay? <laughs> yeah, but I love the puzzles as well, and I love to yeah. solve them myself. Yeah. So you can also read about the history and recipes. I want to show you the recipes. So, as you're completing quests, uh, you will unlock, I mean, you will get new yeah. recipes for artifact sets. So how you get, what, uh, what uh, artifacts you will need exactly for a really powerful artifact to, to forge. Yeah. You can get these artifacts from quests and from trader locations where they trade you artifacts. So I think that we have covered what we wanted for today and I am really glad that you were here with us today and watched King Arthur 2 the role playing war game. I really hope that you enjoyed this. and. Uh, Remember, if you want to try it yourselves, the game is already available on Steam and on major digital download portals. So if you want to try, then feel free to do so. And I am really, really happy that you were here and thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you. Bye.